You're not gonna believe this. You're not lifting your head. I've seen thousands of golf swings on video and never seen a single person hit a bad shot by lifting their head. So how is it that you hit that top shot or that skull shot? Well, in just a second, we'll take a look. Okay, so I just have to tell you a little story about this next thing. So uh, when I decided, boy, over 20 years ago that I wanted to be in the golf business and be a golf professional, I went to this special golf college just to be a golf professional. That is, how great is that, right? So uh, one thing I knew about the golf swing, the one thing that I knew that everybody knows was you have to keep your eye on the ball and keep your head down. That's what I thought. But that looked pretty ridiculous, didn't it? You would never see Tiger Woods hitting shots like, like that, right? Because the truth is that we really should not try to keep our head down. Now, I'm not saying you should try to lift it, but the whole uh, notion of trying to focus on keeping your head down is one that we do not want to encourage. And here's the reason why. So one of the reasons why we hit a top shot or a chunk shot is we fail to move our weight to our front side. And then what happens is the club reaches the low end of its swing before it gets to the ball and catches the ball on the way up. And that one, I missed it. Catches the ball on the way up. Okay. So years and years ago, you know, somebody said, Hey, you know, they see a bad golfer topping the ball and they would say, you got to keep your head down. But here's what they're doing wrong is instead of moving weight forward and letting their hands be forward and letting this golf club swing through, what they were doing was they were trying to lift the ball by moving weight probably even to their back foot and then flipping through with their hands, the club comes up and they hit a top shot, okay? Now I just wanna make sure I mention that um, when I was told this, this, this whole concept about you're not lifting your head, my instructor said, look, I've seen thousands of swings on video, I've never seen anyone pick up their head and hit a bad shot from it. And I've never seen anyone pick up their head, period. And I've seen tens of thousands of swings on video Nobody is picking their head up. But what is happening all the time is this sort of a thing. Okay, so watch what happens if I do allow myself to, to just do whatever is natural. I do want to make sure I move weight to my front side. And you can see here as I do this, what's happening is my sternum moves forward, my hands get ahead of the club head, and I've got a really nice lever right here. And I'm able to strike the ball and then the ground, okay? I'm not trying to hit down on the ball at all. All I'm doing is I'm making a swing, letting this club swing around my body, and centrifugal force is created, which causes the club to pull away from me a little bit, and that is why the club actually does catch some of the ground. It's not catching the ground because I'm hitting down on the ball, and I'm certainly not getting the ball in the air because I'm hitting up on it. The loft of the club is gonna get the ball up in the air. Okay, so instead of trying to keep your head down, what you should focus on is finishing your swing with all of your weight on your front foot so you can tap that back toe. That's the first step. So if you're finding that you finish your golf swing and your feet are firmly planted on the ground, we need to get over here because that's gonna help you get the low end of your swing forward. The loft of the club is gonna get the ball up in the air. So let's give it a try. Okay, that was a pretty good one. And you can see at the end of my swing, my hips are on top of my front foot. This back foot, my heel is up, and I'm really, really well balanced, okay? So, so work on that a little bit in a practice swing type of a setting. You don't even have to hit balls. Just even if you get uh, in a house or in a garage, someplace with a mirror or a picture window, and I can see myself right in that window behind the camera, go ahead and just practice, little swings even, moving on to your front side. If I was gonna to toss the ball sidearm, it would be like that. And it wouldn't have to be a really big toss, okay? We're always moving our hips on top of our front side. And we'll be balanced at the end of our swing if our head is on top of our hips, which are on top of our, of our lead foot, okay? I hope you find that helpful. 
I know it may be shocking. It may be like I'm asking you to believe something that you never thought was possible, but you don't have to keep your eye on the ball. You don't have to keep your head down. What we really want to do is get weight forward, hands forward, and then more often we'll strike the ball before we strike the ground. By the way, it does take practice. This is a skill. So it's not like just by knowing this, it's all going to be good. You can, you can, do, you can get weight forward, hands forward, and miss your spot and not hit a great shot. So we, you know, we definitely have to practice, but boy, oh boy. Uh, if you're trying to keep your head down, every swing you make is building the wrong habits. So we want to we wanna have really good habits. So one more time, weight forward, hands forward, hit the ball, then the turf. I really hope that you found this helpful. Uh, please, in the section below, go ahead and any questions you may have, go ahead and leave a question, comment, or some feedback.